Mars is the second closest planet to the Earth and absolutely one of the best places we can go to study things that are of real interest to us here on the Earth. For example, the possibility that life exists, under better understanding of climates, uh, understanding the basic geology of a planet. Mars is the place to go, and so it's a fascinating planet to look at. Uh, great, great drawing here shows the Earth, the Moon, and Mars in scale and with the proper colors. And uh, it's, it's striking. Uh, Mars is intermediate in size between our Moon over here and the Earth. And in color, it's substantially different. Look at the gray color of the Moon. That's a, a pretty uh, accurate rendition of what the color of the, of the lunar rocks actually is, a kind of boring gray. And the Earth striking in its blues from the water and the, and the, the vivid whites from the uh, clouds and from the polar caps. And there's Mars, a red color, a, a striking red color caused by the rusty rock, the uh, oxidized iron in its surface rocks, the li mineral limonite. And uh, f features on Mars that we can, we can see just with our naked eye looking at the planet in the night sky. We can see that red color as we just stand outside without even binoculars or a telescope. We can see that Mars is the red planet, and that red color comes up vividly when we take good good images of it like this one so we want to learn what we can see of uh, of the planet this is a very very typical image of what you might see from a very good earth-based telescope this was taken at uh, unc greensboro's three college observatory in uh, 2003 uh, with our ccd camera but you can see the striking uh, orange color of the planet, very vivid right down here. You can see dark markings in different places. This is probably the feature Sirtis Major that we can see on Mars. And then we can we can see the polar cap. This is a soft polar cap when this was taken. Um, ice and carbon dioxide that is vivid from uh, a distance of uh, 70 or 80 million miles. Now there's a close-up uh, taken from satellites in orbit around Mars, not a, not a photograph, but a reconstruction of the of what the surface looks like. Um, you need to be familiar with what the main features are. For example, right away, this part of the of the planet will catch your eye. Uh, this is the Tharsis Ridge, uh, a line of four extinct volcanoes, three giant ones. Uh, along here, a place where volcanic activity must have been very, very common early in the history of Mars. Olympus Mons, largest volcano on Mars, second largest mountain in any place in the entire solar system is, is right here. And, and next to this great volcanic region, we can see uh, the Mariner Valley, a striking valley that uh, lies a little bit of just to um, just to the right of the Tharsis Ridge. If you put uh, North Carolina right here, San Francisco would be over here. This is a distance that would stretch across the United States. So it's a gigantic feature. And we can also see some of the darker markings over in here that I've been mentioning. Uh, this is a second volcanic region on Mars, Elysium, way over here. Um, the large Hellas Basin is like Mare Imbrium on the moon. It's a huge impact uh, feature happened early in the in the history of Mars. And then we can see that there's a great many craters down in, uh, in roughly in this region on Mars, more in the southern hemisphere. The northern plains of Mars are more uh, are much smoother, um, filled in with dust and with lava. There's a close-up of Olympus Mons, this amazing mountain. Um, extinct, probably last erupted a billion years ago, maybe two billion years ago. And we can get an estimate of that because we can see where lava erupted from the caldera in the opening up here, ran down the sides and obliterated anything else that was there. But we know that craters have formed in the intervening years since lava last ran on Mars. And, and there are two craters right there that are signs of that. And we can, we can date the age of this thing by uh, the fact that there are very few, relatively few craters that have appeared in it. So it can't be uh, extremely ancient, it can't be four billion years old, for example. Uh, so Olympus Mons is really a gigantic feature. You don't really appreciate its size from an image like this. But let's look at the next image. Here's a, uh, a view of Olympus Mons. But situated or drawn over it is the map of North and South Carolina, just so you can see that Olympus Mons is so gigantic that if it if it existed in our state here, it would it would dominate the state. It would be a, 
uh, it's way bigger than the state of North Carolina. You can see that right here. So gigantic feature.